Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice exponential equation solution from here? And what we have here, we can write 36 as also 16, 6 as 6 square. Then over here we have x square. Then equals to here we have x square over also 6 square. Then next step here, we cross multiply. We have 6, 10, 6 square then 6 square. Then equals to also we have x squared times x squared. The next step here. This follows when we have same thing multiplying a times a can be written as a squared. As this same thing multiplying here, we can write it as c square or square. Then equals to also here we have x square or square. The next step here. Bring everything to one side and take this side. To the other side. Now this here we have x square or square then minus c square or square now which is left with zero on this side. Then this follows when we have a square minus b square which is same thing as a plus b into brackets open brackets a minus b. Then here a standing as x square and b standing at 6 squared. Then what we have here becomes x squared plus 6 squared into brackets. Close open brackets x squared minus 6 squared close brackets equals to 0 here. Then we have two possible cases. The first one x squared plus 6 squared equals to 0 or we have x square minus 6 square equals to 0 here. Then, solving on this side, this follows when we have a square plus b square, which is the same thing as a plus b high into brackets, then open brackets a minus b high. Then, here, yeah, what we have becomes x plus 6i into brackets open bracket x minus 6i close bracket equals to 0 here then we also have two possible cases the first one x plus 6i equals to 0 or we have x minus 6i equals to 0 here at this here we have x equals to minus 6i which is a complex solution here then here we have also x equals to 6i, which is a complex solution as well. Then here, solving from the second case, which is x squared minus 6 square equals to 0. Then here, this follows from a square minus b square, which is the same thing as a plus b into brackets open bracket a minus b but this all we have becomes x plus 6 into brackets and open bracket x minus 6 equals to 0 here then here also we have two possible cases the first one x plus 6 equals to 0 or we have x minus 6 equals to 0 here. Then here, this gives us x equals to minus 6, which is a real solution here. And here we have x equals to 6, which is also a real solution here. And therefore, we have four solutions together two real and two complex solutions. When we write it out here, we can say we have. The first solution x1 from here we have x1 equals to 6 x2 equals to minus 6 x3 equals to 6i and x4 equals to minus 6i altogether we have four solutions here, 
which are two real and two complex solutions. Then let's check here if this satisfy this given problem. That is, we substitute the value of x here. When x equals to 6, this equation becomes 36 over 6 square. Is it equals to, also here we have 6 square over 36. Then here, we have 36 over 6 square, 6 times 6, also 36. Is it equals to, here also we have 6 square, that's 36 over 6 square, over 36. Then, 36 over 36, that's simply 1, which is equals to also 36 over 36, 1. Left hand side is equals to the right hand side. And therefore, we conclude that 6 satisfies this given problem. Then, we substitute x equals to minus 6 as well. Then, what we have becomes 36 over minus 6 square. Is it equals to minus 6 square over 36? Then this is the same thing as 36 over this square affects minus turn to plus. Then c square that's 36. So we have plus 36. Is it equals to same thing here? Square minus square that's plus c square 36. Then over 36. That is 36 over 36 equals 1, which is equals to also 36 over 36. That's one left hand side equals to the right hand side. And therefore. Minus 6 also satisfies this given problem. Then we substitute x equals to 6i as well. That is, this equation becomes 36 over 6i all square. Is it equals to also 6i all square over 36? Then here. Yeah, we have 36 over square affects 6, that's 6 square times also affect i. We have i square. Is it equal to same thing here? We have 6 square times i square over 36. That like is, yeah, this becomes 36 over 6 square. That's also 36 times i square. i square, same thing as minus 1. That is, 36 over minus. 36 times minus 1. Is it equals to also here we have 6 squared 36. Then times i squared minus 1. Then over 36. Then here also 36 cancel each other. We have 1 over minus 1. Is it equals to also here 36 cancel each other. We have minus 1. Then 1 over minus 1. Here yeah? same thing as minus 1. Which is equals to minus 1 here. Yeah? Left hand side equals to the right hand side. And also 6i satisfy this given problem. And also here we substitute x equals to minus 6i. Then what we have here becomes 36 over minus 6i all square. Is it equals to also minus 6i all square over 36? Then this becomes 36 over minus square plus 6 square 36 then times i square minus 1. Is it equals to here yeah, also minus square plus 6 square 36 times i square minus 1 then over 36? Then here, yeah, the six cancel each other. We have one over minus one. Is it equals to also here? Yeah, the six cancel each other. We have minus one. And one over minus one gives us minus one, which is equals to minus one. Yeah. Also, left hand side equals to right hand side. And therefore, minus six r satisfies this given problem. And thank you for watching. Don't forget the steps. Subscribe for more videos. Turn the description button. Share this video. Give it a thumbs up and put your comment. See you next class and bye for now.